Well, it's a, a brisk morning here in central Kansas, and uh, I'm going to show a little project I've been working on. My neighbor built a, a steam engine from a automotive air conditioning compressor. He showed it to me. It was really pretty cool. I told him uh, it'd be fun to make one of those. He said, well, you know, I've got another air conditioning compressor that I've had for 30 years. You're welcome to it if you want it. So I got it. I spent the last couple of weeks building this little engine. And uh, so for Molly and Ryan and Michael, I'm going to uh, make a video, show this little engine. It's pretty cool. Let me get set up a little better. I'll come back. So this is the, the body of the compressor, the crankcase. This uh, pulley assembly that I'm using for a flywheel is what drove the compressor in the car. Had a magnetic clutch in there. The crankshaft didn't extend out of this side of the crankcase. So I extended the crankshaft so I could put this eccentric on there that drives the, there's a spool valve inside here that distributes the air and the exhaust from the steam inlet. Of course, I don't even have a boiler big enough to drive this, but to demonstrate it now, I'm just going to run it on air and, uh, let you see what it looks like. It was a fun project. So this was a York two-cylinder air conditioning compressor, and it, it saved a lot of work because the crankshaft, the connecting rod, piston, crankcase was all part of the original compressor. I just had to build the valving arrangement and the eccentric to drive the valve. This will show how much... Uh, extra time I've got being retired. <laughs> 